Hey guys, we have Emily from the Humane Society of West Michigan and probably for like a <laughs> solid 10 minutes now, we have been just hanging out and playing with Rocco here. He is so, so fun. So sweet. So sweet, yes. three years old. Um, he's up for adoption and he would make the perfect <laughs> addition unless our boss adopts him first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of hoping he does. But uh, tell us a little bit about him. What's the situation? So he is a three-year-old terrier mix. Um, he came to us at the end of April um, from Little Rock. Mm -hmm. So he's a from, transfer. He's from the South, yet. Yeah. Um, but he's very sweet. He has a history of living with other dogs. Mm -hmm. um, so we do always recommend dog-to-dog -dog meetings, but he seems to be pretty on board with it. Uh, but he's just very sweet. He loves the car. He loves to stare at the front window. Yeah, he has the perfect temperament. He's yes. got good energy, but he's not over the top. Yes, he's still very calm. He loves to lay in the sun. Yeah, the so toys. you guys can sunbathe together yes. now that the sun is out, finally. <laughs> and uh, moving on to kittens, tis the season. Yes, so we have kitten season right now, which means we have a lot of kittens coming in. Um, a lot of them are going to be in foster right now, just mm -hmm. until they're big enough for adoption. But if you are interested in fostering, you can always check that out. Um, or just keep an eye on their website for when they're ready for adoption. Now, do these cats, like, do they come in as strays? Do people find them and bring them in? Yes, yeah, so a little you, bit of everything. They, we do get a lot of strays. We get a lot as, you know, people have kittens and they don't know how to take care of them, so uh -huh. they bring them into us. Okay. Um, it's just a bunch of different scenarios. I love his little frog legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is really a good reminder to spay and neuter your pets. Absolutely. Um, just to kind of counteract the kitten season. Um, but, and it's not only for taking care of kittens, it's also for their health. So you yeah. just wanna make sure that you're keeping them healthy and spay and neuter is the way to do that. And what's great is that when you adopt an animal from the Humane Society, all of them are up to date on vaccines, yeah. they're neutered or spayed, and Micro they are microchipped. Yes. Yeah. So yes. you're good so to go. All, yes, all set, good to go, healthy as can be. Yeah. And we have all of that information about fostering, uh, mix957gr.com. And we're in summertime, and the, if you want to get the kids out of the house, yes, consider we have sending them to, to you. Yes, <laughs> bring them to us. We want, we want to teach your kids about animals and how to care for them and how to approach them and it's nice for you to be able to get them out of the house maybe you don't have to pay for a babysitter yeah um, mommy and daddy time yes exactly and your kids can learn so much. I did not mean it that way by the way <laughs> <laughs> I saw that look Wendy <laughs> I just meant like all right kids out of the house yeah. <laughs> that too <laughs> where were we um, <laughs> oh yeah so these camps they're ongoing <laughs> All throughout the summer that yes. you can sign your kids up. Yep, they start beginning of June, go through August, um, and really, your kids can learn different things. So they can learn, learn what it's like to be a vet. They mm -hmm. can learn, you know, just about different animals, even non-pet animals. Yeah. Um, or they can learn how to use media for animals and make a music video and all that fun stuff. That's so, super cool. And are these are these uh, camps, are they for different age groups? They are. So we have different age groups, different um, times during the summer, and you can sign up for more than one as well. So Including not just kids, but teenagers, those who yes. are interested in like going into a vet field or working with animals. This is a great way to experience it and they get to interact with animals. Mm -hmm. and yes, it's See what so it's like firsthand. Fun. Yes, exactly. And all that information too is up on our website, mix957gr.com. Emily, thanks so much for bringing in Rocco. Yeah. He's all over the place, but he's so much fun. Go see him.